air sign mass if it's your girl d with eighth house energy here to do your weekend scenario for july 26th through july 28th so that's friday through sunday uh, what's up everybody to those who are returning for another video thank you so much for your support i do appreciate you if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button it's just a click away and then you can hit the notification that way you can check me out when things are posted um, if you are coming to the channel for the first time, welcome. Uh, please let me know if the uh, video resonates with you um, by uh, clicking the like button and then just giving me a little comment if you want to. Um, but I hope that you will subscri subscribe as well. Um, that way you'll be notified when I post again, especially if the reading resonated with you. Um, anything that you want to know about getting in contact with me in reference to uh, personal reading and the types of readings I provide and the pricing is going to be listed at the bottom of the uh, video here. So take a look at that. Um, if you want to, there's, well, how can I put this? There's various ways that you can support the channel. You can support by being a subscriber, um, by clicking like on the videos that resonate with you. Um, you can also support the channel by looking in the box below. You can do a, a good karma donation if you want to. Um, the information is below. If you want to support the channel by purchasing 8th House Energy merchandise, there's a link below where you can do that. If you want to um, purchase a, a tarot card uh, that's on the wish list, um, you can do that. That's another way that you can donate to the channel if you're interested. Um, but any way that you do, whether you just come in on the view um, or whether you decide you want to do a good karma donation or a purchase, um, it's definitely appreciated. I do appreciate everybody who's been uh, hitting me up for readings. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Um, it's really been um, a positive, overwhelming, uh, overwhelming response in reference to everybody who's been hitting me up with uh, hitting me up with uh, <laughs> with personal readings. Um, I'm super excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, going for you. Um, this is gonna be a weekend scenario spread for my air sign so that's for my Gemini's my Libra's and my Aquarius's I hope you guys are having a good summer if you hear any noise in the background the cars um, I got the window open it's been hot as I don't know what for the last couple days and it started raining so it cooled down a bit so I'm just trying to open up the windows and get this air before this heat wave starts again um, I got my washer going in the background <laughs> washing clothes making videos all right, so uh, please bear with me if you hear any of that noise. All right, so let's get going. We're going to do two <clears throat> five-card spreads for you guys. All right, let's see what's going on with you for the weekend. Now, this is the um, Golden Thread Tarot that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to be clarifying with my African Tarot deck. All right, so let's see what's going on with my Air Sign Massive, my Geminis, my Libras, and my uh, Aquariuses. All right, so the first card out is going to be the past. The second card is the present. Third card is the future. Fourth card is the reason why things are the way they are. And then the fifth card is the outcome. Let me move this down a bit. Don't worry if you can't see the cards. I will show them to you. The overall energy for this reading here is the hanged man in reverse. This is Neptunian energy. So when the hanged man is in reverse... Um, this represents a situation here where somebody is maybe feeling that they have been betrayed. Somebody's feeling like someone was disrespected to them. Um, they may feel like they are a victim in a situation, okay, um, and that someone is being selfish. So these are some of the things that this card could mean, but we are going to clarify here and find out why this hangman is in reverse. Now, as far as the past is concerned... Uh, I'm showing that you have the Ten of Cups. So this is going to be probably about a love reading. So this was a successful relationship. Things were good. Everybody was happy. You guys were living together. It was a beautiful situation. If there was kids involved, you know, it didn't matter if you had kids and they had kids. Everybody blended in and everything worked well. All right. So this was the Ten of Cups situation here. That was in the past. All right. The present energy is the Chariot energy. And this is Cancer energy. That Ten of Cups energy was um, Piscean energy. So this is Cancer energy. Oh, and when I tell you the energy, just so you're aware, um, 
this is a general reading. If it doesn't, um, you know, resonate with you, that's okay. It's not supposed to resonate with everybody. If you want something more specific, check out the information below. Reach out to me. I'll get you something specifically catered to you. Um, the signs here, if, it, if it's not a sign in your chart and it's not a sign in the chart of the person we're talking about that's in this scenario, this is just you or that person embodying that energy, okay? So this is Cancer energy. This is the Chariot card. Now, this is the present energy. This energy represents um, someone having a difficult time moving forward, but they're able to do so. Um, this could have been a situation where the heart and the head were not aligned at one point, but they are now aligned, and you're going to pick up the pieces and move forward. But we are going to clarify that. This could also mean travel as well with the chariot card. So we'll clarify and see which meaning uh, resonates with this uh, spread here. Now the future energy is the page, the knight, the knight of pentacles. Okay, and with the knight of pentacles, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And the Knight of Pentacles represents Taurus in particular. Now, this is uh, someone who uh, is a person who's very cautious before moving forward. Uh, they have a journey, and they're making sure that they have everything they need for this journey before they move on. They are someone who dots all their I's, crosses all their T's before they move forward. Um, and they move forward with the assurity that all of that has been done. Um, some people call this the slowest night of the deck. I call him the surest night of the deck, okay? Because when he comes through or she comes through, this is uh, definitely something that's practical, stable, and is concrete, okay? So that's in the future. Now, the reason this is all going on is because of the uh, five of wands. Yeah, that's wands. No, 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 the picture looks like swords, right? <laughs> but at any rate, it's the Five of Wands. It says it right at the bottom here, Wands. All right, so with the Five of Wands, this is conflict of some sort, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag energy. This is Leo energy here. And there's some type of conflict. It could be uh, anything from gossip. could be competition. Uh, it could be conflict with multiple people, okay? But we're going to clarify that. And we have the outcome as the Empress, okay? Now, the Empress represents Virgo energy, all right, and the Empress represents, um, I'm sorry, Venus energy, forgive me. All right, and Venus rules uh, Taurus and it rules Libra. So this could represent Taurus or Libra. All right, and when the Empress is here, this represents fertility, birth. It could be physical birth um, or it could be birth of an idea or, um, you know, uh, birth of a new uh, a venture of some sort. But we will clarify. This could be a, a, someone who's a parent as well. And we'll clarify that as we go forward. So the energies I'm picking up with these cards is that at one point, <clears throat> there was a uh, wonderful situation going on with two lovers. All right. Everything was happy. Something occurred that made things a bit challenging to move forward. Okay. But once things started moving forward, it started moving forward very meticulously taking time to make sure that everything is in its place and that things are in order. Um, and that happened because there was some type of conflict of some sort. It could have been some type of competition, uh, some type of um, energies that were causing a challenge uh, to the situation. All right. But the outcome is, is that control. I'm sorry. The outcome is, is that uh, birth of a positive situation or an actual birth of a person uh, is going to um, be the outcome of this, or this is a uh, representing um, a parent, okay? And when we got the hangman in reverse again, this is somebody feeling like they've been taken advantage of, someone feeling like somebody's a traitor, all right? But let's clarify these cards and get, get some energy here. So why is this Ten of Cups here? Please clarify this Ten of Cups. Universe, let me know what's up with this Ten of Cups. Talk to me about this Ten of Cups. Talk to me. Alright. I got the world card here, okay? With the world card, this represents Saturn energy. Saturn rules Capricorn and it co-rules Aquarius. So when you have the world card here, it means that something has come to an end. Lessons have been learned. A cycle has been completed. 
All right. So that's clarifying the Ten of Cups energy. So at one point in the past, there was a positive Ten of Cups environment and it came to an end. Let's clarify this world card. Why is this world card here? What happened? Why did it come to an end? Talk to me about this ending. What's up with this ending? Universe, let me know what's up with this ending. Okay, it came to an end because of the Five of Wands. We have another Five of Wands here. All right, so there was some type of uh, conflict going on, some type of change, some type of instability. All right, and we're going to find out what's going on here. So because of that, that happened in the past. It was difficult to move forward because we got the chariot card here. So let's clarify this chariot card for the present energy. What's up with this chariot card? Why is this chariot card here? Talk to me about this chariot card. Talk to me. Let me know what's up with this chariot card. That was too many cards that turned over at once, you guys. All right. So I got the four of cups in reverse. This is cancer energy. So with the four of cups in reverse, this means that someone stopped thinking about themselves. So things were able to move forward. Okay. So in the past, there was a happy home situation. It came to an end because there was some type of instability. All right. Um, the current energy is that things are moving forward because whoever was causing the instability decided to stop being selfish and stop thinking about themselves. We're going to clarify that four cups in reverse. We have that clarified with the Knight of Swords. Okay, so some truth came out. Okay, may not have come out in the way that you wanted it to, but the truth came out about the situation. All right, and so as a result, we have the future energy being the Knight of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles. He's turned over reverse. I'm not going to take them. Uh, cards jumping out. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Talk to me. Talk to me about this Knight of Pentacles. I don't get anything. I'm on pull. Talk to me about this Knight of Pentacles. Clarified by the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this is Sagittarius energy. Wands represents travel, speedy messages coming through, internet communication, phone communication, um, texting. Some messages are coming through. Okay, so message, maybe it was slow to come through, but it finally came through. Let's clarify this Eight of Wands. Why is this... Got that clarified by the six of swords in reverse. Okay, so this could be somebody stuck. All right. Um, or this could represent someone who left and is now coming back. All right. So that's the future energy. It looks like things are slow to get going. Messages are coming through and then somebody's willing to come back. Now, the reason this all occurred is because of this five of wands energy. So let's clarify that. And we got that clarified with the nine of wands. This is Sagittarius energy. Now, with the Nine of Wands, that represents somebody not moving forward. They have done all they're going to do. They're maintaining boundaries in the situation. Okay? So, let's clarify that Nine of Wands. Why is this Nine of Wands here? Talk to me about this Nine of Wands. Talk to me. Seven of Cups. So, somebody was in their head about some things. Um, somebody could have had some options. All right? And that might be the reason why somebody is maintaining their distance. Okay. So let's clarify this outcome because I, I got a picture of what's going on, but I want to put all the cards out and clarify it entirely. So let's clarify this Empress as the outcome. Why is this Empress the outcome? Talk to me about this Empress. Talk to me. Tell me about this Empress. Tell me. Tell me about this Empress. Talk to me. All right, I'm going to pull. Empress clarified by the Justice card. Okay, this is Libra energy. Okay, this could represent someone making a decision. All right, so when the Justice card shows up, this could also represent court cases. This is a win-win situation. This is karma as well. So cause and effect, something going in your favor. All right, let's clarify this Justice card. Why is this justice card here? What's up with this justice card? Talk to me about this justice card. We got the emperor. Okay. 
That's Taurus or Aries energy. All right, and we clarify that with justice. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. I got the magician under the deck. All right, so in the past, we had the Ten of Cups. So we had a great home environment. Everybody was happy. Um, an ending came to that for some reason, okay? And it was because of, I'm going to say competition, and I'll tell you why in a second. So there was somebody else involved, okay? So now this became a third-party situation, or it could have just been somebody out here messing with a lot of people, all right? So that was in the past, all right? So moving forward, the current situation, you guys are trying to move forward, okay? Because you got the chariot energy here, and you moving forward because someone decided, okay, I'm not going to be thinking about myself anymore. I am going to, you know, they probably got cursed out, basically, <laughs> Somebody got cursed out like, yo, you need to check yourself. You're putting us in a situation where you're causing riff and strife in the home. You know, do what you're going to do. What are you going to do? And they're like, all right, all right. I'll stop being selfish, you know, because you done got chewed out. Okay. The future, I'm showing that things are moving along slowly. But some messages um, come in, okay, either online or what have you. And so the person slowly decides that, okay, I'm going to come back. I'll come back. I'll stop acting like a jerk. I'll get back onto the swing of things. Now, the reason this all happened, again, is because I'm saying competition because we got somebody being defensive because somebody had options. Okay, so that's what ruined the happy home. Somebody was out here being selfish and messing around with multiple people because we got the five of wands here twice, okay? Now, the outcome is, is that, look, you need to get yourself together because we got a baby on the way, all right? This is a win-win situation for us to, you know, work this out. So get control of your damn self, <laughs> all right? Get yourself together. We got a family here. We got, you know, baby on the way, okay? So that could be um, the end result for some of you guys. Um, another uh, situation or scenario could be that, you know what, I'm pregnant. The end result is I'm pregnant. I'm taking you to court. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, you're going to have to pay up. Okay, because the emperor represents someone who is a high, uh, high, highly, um, how can I say this? Somebody who runs businesses or runs a business. Someone who's a high uh, executive. Okay, so this person is going to end up having to... Uh, pay up. A lot of people are in court right now too. Okay. So when we got this hangman energy in reverse, this is somebody feeling like, okay, this person, you know, deceived me. This person, you know, took advantage of me, you know, and as a result, you know, I'm pregnant and now this person doesn't want to be around. That could be what's going on. All right. So this person could have, could have met this guy. You guys got together. You, this was wish fulfillment. You know, this person could have been somebody who wasn't in a relationship with you or you weren't in a relationship with them, but you ended up messing around and you got pregnant. And the person is kind of standoffish, doesn't really want to be with you, doesn't really want to rock with you because they got options. But you're like, oh, well, you're going to take care of this baby, buddy. OK, you're definitely going to take care of this baby and we're going to court. OK, so that's for some of you. Um, for others of you, you were living together. Um, and because this person was selfish and went out and dipped out, um, they caused a lot of strife and competition in, in the home and they had some options. Okay. And you cursed them out, let them know, look, come on, we got a baby on the way now, get yourself together. So they took their time about getting back to you in reference to moving back in because you may need, you need, you may need help with the money, uh, with the household funds or what have you. Okay. So they come back. But they're still out there doing their thing, you know, and they're being defensive about it, but they still got options. They're being defensive about their options. So this could be somebody who just doesn't want to be in a relationship. But guess what, buddy? I have a baby now, so um, we need to uh, figure out what we're going to do. OK, this could be a situation where somebody um, was living with someone or was messing with someone and the situation came to an end. And this person could have been dealing with someone else on the low, got pregnant by this person and tried to blame 
this person for it. And this person is like, oh, no, that's not my kid. You know what I mean? Um, and they're like, well, why don't you come back? It's mess you know, messages of, hey, you know, I might be pregnant. Why don't you come back? You know, and they're like, oh, well, you're going to have to take me to court to prove that this is my kid. Because I'm certain it's not mine. All right. So those are the three scenarios I'm getting here. All right. Air signs. So we're going to do another spread for you guys and see <clears throat> what we come up with. OK. All right. So, oh, and that's the overall energy of why somebody feels like they were been, they've been deceived. OK. Because when the uh, hangman is in reverse, it's somebody who feels like they've been deceived, they've been taken advantage of. All right. So let's see, what's up with my air signs for July 26, July 28, July 26, July 28, air signs, July 26, July 28. All right, so we're going to do another five card spread, but they're going to be different categories here. So with this spread here. The first card represents the, the situation. The second card represents the challenge. The third card represents the guidance. The fourth card represents the focus. And then the fifth card represents the outcome. Overall energy for this spread is the Ace of Cups. Okay, air signs. Love is in the air. Every time I look around. A lot of y'all probably don't recognize what I'm singing. That's from the love boat. You're too young for that. Don't even worry about it. Google the love boat. All right. <laughs> but anyway, you got some love in the air. That's a beautiful thing. So let's take a look. So the situation at hand is a passionate new beginning. All right. Because we got the page of wands. All right. So this is exciting, passionate new beginning in love. This is Sag energy. All right. And then we have for the challenge, judgment. So making a decision. Okay. So judgment is represented by... Um, oh, I'm having a brain fart. Judgment. Judgment. All right. But anyway, judgment represents the fact that there's clarity. There's a final decision in some thought. Something, somebody's making a decision. Okay, this is Pluto energy. My bad. So this represents Scorpio. Okay. That's the challenge in the situation is making a decision. Okay. Wake up call. All right. Now we got the uh, guidance in the situation. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, this is a uh, Capricorn energy. This is uh, someone who is a business owner, someone who is a high exe high ranking executive. She's making her dough. She's a great mom as well. She's well known throughout the community. She's a pillar in the community as well. All right. So that is the um, guidance in the situation. Now, the old, the um, oh. The focus is the Queen of Cups in Reverse, okay? So the Queen of Cups in Reverse is Pisces and Energy. And when the Queen of Cups is in Reverse, this is somebody who could be being verbally abusive to someone, being taking advantage of someone's um, uh, kindness and their goodness and their support, taking advantage of someone's support, all right? Or someone could be being taken advantage of. Their support could be taken advantage of. And then we have the outcome as the Tower card in Reverse, that's Mars energy. And when the tower card is in reverse, this means that a unexpected uh, life-altering situation has taken place already or you averted it. Okay? So um, this is um, tower energy, which is uh, Mars energy. All right? So it looks as though there's a passionate new beginning going on here. You're trying to make a decision as to what you want to do. Maybe you have a decision between... Um, a Capricorn and a Pisces, all right, and you're just trying to figure out what it is that's going on, and it looks like maybe the Piscean is the one that you're not going to choose, but we'll clarify and see what's going on here, okay? So let's clarify this page of wands. Talk to me about this page of wands. Why is this page of wands here? Why is this page of wands here? Talk to me about the page of wands. Page of wands. Ten of cups in reverse. Oh, nine of cups in reverse. Okay, so this is not wish fulfillment. Okay, so this passionate new beginning with someone is not wish fulfillment. Let's clarify this nine of cups in reverse. 
Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Why is this Nine of Cups in reverse? So this is somebody being greedy, okay? Somebody um, being uh, looking for quick results, okay? So with the Page of Wands, somebody wanting something to happen real quick, wanting love to happen real quick. Could be somebody trying to get in the uh, get in their pants real quick, all right? Because the Nine of Cups could represent hedonism, somebody who's out for their own selfish means. All right, let's clarify that Nine of Cups in reverse with the Hanged Man. Okay, so with the hangman, this is Neptunian energy. Okay, so this is somebody who um, sees what's going on. All right, or maybe they had a different perspective. Maybe at first it was just all about the sex, but then they had a different um, perspective and now it could be about love. Okay, because this might be why we have the Ace of Cups here, but we're going to clarify these cards and find out if that's the case. So let's clarify judgment. Why is judgment here? So that's the challenge in the situation. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment the challenge? Clarify judgment. Why is judgment here? Talk to me. Talk to me. Why is judgment here? I'm going to clarify. I'm going to pull. Judgment clarified by the six of, one, uh, six of Swords in reverse. So this could be that you're stuck. You're deciding on if you want to leave or if you want to go. You don't know if you want to leave or go. You're thinking about leaving, but there might be something in the way as to why you're leaving. Okay? Um, but you're making a decision. You're deciding what you want to do. You're kind of stuck in between. All right? So let's clarify the Six of... That's the Six of Swords. Six of Swords in reverse. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is it hard to make a decision? Ten of Wands... I'm sorry. Nine of Wands. Uh, Sagittarius Energy. Okay, so this is somebody who is putting up boundaries, okay? So maybe you're deciding that you want to leave or you don't want to leave, um, but you're being defensive about something, okay? You, let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles because that's the guidance in the situation. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? You have that clarified by the Hermit card, Virgo Energy. All right, so this represents somebody going within uh, for spiritual enlightenment, okay? Trying to, um, this is somebody who's been through some things and they're just trying to get spiritual insight. Let's clarify this hermit. Why is this hermit here? Why are we going within? Why is this hermit here? Clarify. Talk to me about this hermit. Talk to me. Clarify the hermit with the tower card, another tower card. So, yeah, so this outcome is the aftermath of the tower. So there was an unexpected change that came about. And we're going to clarify this Queen of Cups so we can get a, a story here. Queen of Cups in reverse. Why is she here? Clarify the Queen of Cups. What's going on with the Queen of Cups? Talk to me about her. Talk to me about her. Queen of Cups clarified by the magician Mercury Energy that is um, Gemini or Virgo. So trying to manifest something. Clarified by the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, trying to manifest love, okay? Now we're going to clarify this tower in reverse because this is the aftermath of the tower. And then we'll get a picture here. Why is this tower in reverse? Tower in reverse is the world card in reverse. More lessons that needed to be learned. The cycle did not come to a close. Clarify this world card in reverse. That's Saturn energy. Clarified by the Four of Wands. Aries energy. All right, so it looks like um, the situation at hand is that there's a passionate new beginning, an opportunity for a passionate new beginning, um, but it was about sex, but then somebody fell in love, all right, and they have to make a decision. Do they want to leave the current person they're with, or do they want to move forward with this new venture of the person they met, all right? The Queen of Pentacles is the person that they are... Um, that they are going within about okay and then they made a decision all right and that decision was a tower moment okay and what it is is the queen of cups uh she's in reverse so it looks like she was taken advantage of um she was the one who may have been cheated on um and as a result trying to manifest the love situation with this queen of cups you're trying to get back in with her um but after this um it looks like you want to go back to her which is why the the uh World card is here in reverse because it's not over. You want stability with the Queen of Cups. 
So that could be you wanting stability with your Piscean person. So you might have either you met a Queen of Pentacles energy, which is Capricorn, and you cheated with the Capricorn. You cheated on your Pisces with the Capricorn or you were with a Pisces and you cheated on your Pisces with the Capricorn. And the other person found out about it. All right. And um, it caused a tower moment. There was a major issue in the relationship, but it looks like the relationship is trying to be salvaged. Um, it looks like you're going to move forward with the person that you cheated on. Um, you guys are going to work things out. All right. So air signs, that's what I'm showing for your second spread here. So um, let me know <laughs> what's up in the comments, if this makes sense. But you look like you're trying to get back to love with your Pisces or you're trying to get back to love with your Capricorn. Let me know in the comments which one it is for you. Love you, Earth Signs. Talk to you later.